Okay, hello Eva. Um, so you did a workshop this morning, or a yes. talk this morning. Can you tell us a little bit about your talk? What was it on? Well, this was English as a Lingua Franca and the application of English as a Lingua Franca in language teaching. And what I try to do is just challenge the myth of what constitutes Lingua Franca because most people think it's broken English. And it's not. Actually, it's what's happening. English is used by mainly by non-native speakers. And then when they use English, it's a lingua franca because they do not use the kind of English that native speakers would. So it's, it was partly that and also that this is a new kind of context. I mean, it's happening. It's a new kind of context and how that um, affects language teaching or how it should affect language teaching. Basically. And, and how do you think it should affect language teaching? Um, I think, I think what we should do really is to um, realize that when we teach English now, we try to teach English for communication with native speakers. And when we talk about native speakers, we have this idealized native speaker in mind. It's not the real thing. Native speakers come in all shapes and sizes. The kind of English they speak varies. Um, the kind of you know, the countries where they come from um, are, are numerous. So what we have to do, uh, I think, to prepare our students for this very um, different context where they can't always use the expectations or the assumptions of normality that they have. So it requires openness, uh, problem solving, I think, and that should be implemented in language teaching. So we should create situations where they can learn how to handle this unpredictability, diversity, and this evolving and dynamic context in which they will have to use English. Do you think that current course books help uh, the teachers uh, with this uh, different kind of uh, thinking? I think what they, they've, I think they've improved in, in, in one way, and, and that is listening comprehensions. Because, say, 20, 25 years ago, the listening comprehensions were done with native speakers speaking standard English and using uh, received pronunciation. And I think these days there are a lot of non-native speakers among those who... Um, take part in, in reading out these um, reading comprehension tasks and also the different varieties of English. Because I think the fallacy in language teaching is that English is one language and it's not. There's a huge number of varieties, uh, native, non-native, second language, and uh, there are varieties which are actually developing. Now there's this question whether there is something which is called European or Euro-English. That is again a question. Some people say yes because of the EU, some people disagree. Yeah, it is a very uh, interesting point. And also, uh, students' perception of what they need to know and what kind of English they need to learn and, and how that affects uh, uh, what they, they learn. Um, now, a question on a completely different note. Um, as someone who's been the, um, the head of IATEP Hungary, uh, just uh, uh, maybe uh, your impressions of how a conference, uh, ITF Hungary conference is different, or this conference is different from uh, the times when you were the, the president? The, I, I think they're all, all different in their own way. It depends on the, the venue, um, the participants. Um, I think that you can see that the organizers have a lot more experience now. They've all learned from the past. So I think they they better organized. Um, also, what I hope is that um, more teachers come to the conferences, um, and for the good reason. For, for the good reason. So it's not only to listen to native speakers, but to exchange ideas with colleagues, networking, um, see what's new. Um, um, you know, with publishers. So. Yeah, I, th I think it is changing because it has to change and I think my colleagues are doing a great job. I think this is an excellent conference. Um, yeah. Well, you certainly uh, must have done a very good job when you were president if, if um, they got to this stage of organizing it this well. Um, because, I mean, those first steps had to be taken in order to to be able to develop yeah. later. Um, so I, I was, I, I think I was president between um, 2000 and 2003. So by then we, you know, we had um, uh, quite a few conferences. I think my first conference was the 10th one. And it's good to see that it's the 22nd now. 
um, yes, I mean, it's, you know, with the, with the internet, uh, it, it changes, it's easier to organise conferences, but I don't think people realise how much work it is. It's a huge amount of work before, after, and before, during, and after the conference. And um, you don't see it because all's going well. You know, there are no hitches. And, and then you assume, yeah, it, it's easy. It's like when somebody can, you know, like Pavarotti can sing beautifully, you think it's easy because of the professionalism. So, because everything goes well, you know, people don't see, which, which is good in a sense, but then I think they also need to know how much work it is. And it's all volunteers doing this job. Absolutely. Um, and uh, from a, a presenter's point of view, um, um, how has your audience changed, or has it changed at all? Um, right, this is this is my sort of not hobby horse, but something I, I really sort of um, I'm really interested <laughs> in is um, what uh, presentations um, English teachers go to, and um, I don't know whether that has changed, but um, initially everybody flocked to native speakers. So if there was a famous native speaker, the non-native speakers didn't stand a chance. And I think that's changing. The realization is there that non-natives can be as good as native speakers, whatever the, the, you know, the terms mean. And I think what has changed is that um, uh, earlier it was all non-native speakers uh, doing the plenaries, and that has changed a lot. And that is good. I think that's that's again a, a development, and this is going in the right direction. I think because non-native teachers can say a lot, and they know a lot, and um, they should make sure that uh, it reaches uh, the teachers. And I think, in a sense, they're the ones who know the local context. So maybe what they're saying is more relevant than. Uh, something coming from somebody who who's never worked in Hungary he's he or she is here for a week um, maybe that is changing too okay thank you very much Eva thank you, thank you. Thank you. enjoy the conference thank you very much yeah.